This is the second video in our series about developing a small website framework so that we can see how the principles work and how we should approach developing websites in a more efficient and thoughtful way. This video is about planning things out and we're going to start here by saying well why are we even bothering to plan? Uh, we're about to look at how to build a simple website so we can learn good practices and like all good coders we'd like to just get coding and plan it on the fly. We'll use the agile approach. Uh, no, that's not agile, it's lazy and it will lead to problems in the long term. I'm all for open development and making sure that we allow ourselves room to change things on the fly as we see how things work out. But you have to have a plan. Uh, you might want to vary from the plan, but you have to have a plan to vary from. So, what are we doing? Well, it's always good to have a real project in mind so that we can see uh, how it works in practice. And it will work best for you if you have a real project in mind as you follow these videos. Um, I don't have a project in mind, so I'm going to make one up. I'm going to make one up about mm, hey, old men surfing. So, what's the plan? Well, we'll look at who. Uh, we'll look at... Um, we'll, we'll, we'll provide this website for UK surfers and the focus will be on ageing hippies. Uh, people who have reached an age where you really shouldn't be doing this anymore but hey we're enjoying it and we don't want to give up. So um, next bit in the plan, why? Why are we doing this? Uh, well we'll assume this group have a Facebook group already set up for arranging events and so on and they want a simple website to advertise the group to collect useful links together, for example, wind information, equipment suppliers, that sort of thing, and to provide basic contact date details for people within the group. What's the next stage of the plan? Well, we need to think about a name. Why? Well, we want to grab a unique namespace on the web so that folk know about us and hear about us. So we need to do a bit of homework. And uh, looking around, there are three things that came to mind, and all three of these are actually available as URLs. MySurfing.org.uk, yeah, but it didn't suggest the ageing hippies bit. OldGuysSurfing.org.uk, yeah, that's available, not sure about that. Uh, uh, AgingSurfers.org.uk, yeah, I like that one. So um, I'm going to go with that one. So next in the plan is what are the activities that we engage in? So what we're actually asking is what is this group about in a nutshell? This is likely to be the sort of information you want Google to serve up in a search. So we want something really short and pithy, something just a sentence or two really, uh, so that when folk arrive at the site it's the first thing they see. It says, who are we? Is this the place that I wanted to get to when I did my search? So let's have something like this. So a, a paragraph would be fairly prominent as we arrive at the website. It'll say maybe aging surfers is a sad group of old men who should know better, who still like to meet up to ride the waves. This website exists to help you find us and for us to find the stuff we want quickly. OK, that's the uh, most of the planning, but now we also need in our plan actually to think about page design. Now the mantra is mobile first. Uh, we're going to keep it stupidly simple, so let's have a, a design like this. So we'll have uh, the, so here's the mobile design, uh, and we're just going to have some sort of graphic. We'll look for something, a guy, uh, preferably an older guy surfing, and uh, then we'll have the, the navigation section, the, the menu, uh, and then we'll have the, the content, and we'll focus on the three things that the... Um, the, 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 well, first of all, obviously, uh, the bit that we've just said, that we need to have what is this site all about, and we'll also say a bit more underneath in the various sections. Um, and then if we're on a, a, a bigger laptop site, say, then we'll expand the design a bit so it looks more like this, and we'll still have the graphic, same graphic, but notice how we've spread the graphic out so we've got a, a longer view of the, 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 the wave breaking, maybe. Um, and uh, again the navigation, but now we've got margins and we, I, I like to constrict the width of the page so it doesn't go full width. So if you've got a, uh, a, a wide 20 inch to bigger screen, you're not scanning across the entire screen to read the text. I hate that. So we're going to reduce it. We haven't got a lot of content. So let's, we've got a single column. Let's reduce it down. So we'll have a restriction on that width. Uh, having done that, let's now think about page map. 
and our site has three main purposes so that pretty much determines that we're going to have three main pages there'll be the home page which will advertise the group and say a bit about what's on the site we'll have the resources page that will give the collection of useful links and embeds and what have you and we'll have a contact page with basic um, where to find us how to contact us that sort of thing and now we can build so let's get on with it